We are not professionals in the fields of food and cooking or health and we are not responsible for any of the effects that this may cause. Today we're making ginger beer and don't be confused by the name because this beer is not alcoholic and everybody can drink it. And as many other types of fermented foods and drinks, this is not only healthy but very tasteful. You will need at least 8 big glass bottles that can hold 1 liter fluid or more. 2 large ginger roots 1 kilogram of sugar 5 lemons Approximately 10 liters of water You will also need a very big saucepan that can hold up to 10 liters of fluid or more. First you can mix 2 teaspoons of ginger with 2 teaspoons of sugar and mix it with 2.5 deciliter of water. Cover it with paper and a rubber band to prevent flies and other insects to access it. Add 2 new teaspoons of ginger and 2 new teaspoons of sugar and mix it in the glass the day after. Do not add any more water. Add the same amount of ginger and sugar for 5 days in a row and mix it every day. Remember that it should be covered well all the time except for when you're mixing it. When the mixture is done fermenting after 5 to 6 days, put the liquid in the strainer and press it well. You do this so that the liquid gets extracted from the mix. The liquid will be used as a starting culture for the fermentation. Cook 4 liters of water and add 8 tablespoons of finely grated ginger. Add 8 deciliter of sugar and cook it for 10 minutes. After this, turn off the heat and let it cool. When it's cool or lukewarm, strain it with a very fine strainer into another big saucepan or bowl. Then add the juice from 5 lemons and the starting culture that we recently mentioned. Add 3 more liters of water so that you now have approximately 8 liters of water. Mix it thoroughly and pour it into the glass bottles. The bottles should have bottle stoppers with rubber bands so that they will let air out but not in. Let them ferment in a dark place with room temperature for 14 days and put them in the fridge after that. For some people it will take some time to get used to the taste, but when you first get used to it, it can be really hard to not drink that much of it. It is also very important to point out that although this drink contains a lot of sugar, it is not harmful. And this is because the sugar is very important for the fermentation process and without the sugar the process would not work. Our personal opinion is that this drink actually tastes better than soda even though it's not unhealthy. Thank you for watching and make sure to like this video if you like our content and would like to try this recipe yourself. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more long hair inspiration and tips.